windows again. First time I was upside down. We're setting a furnace in the garage today. Got the gas line here. We're going up and in. And the furnace is going to be above the bathroom. Upstairs, or er, in this garage. It's just heating. It's going to be right above that bathroom right there. All right, put it down before you drop it. Briefly. Uh, the 413. My knot held up. I was kind of worried it wasn't. We got more foam tape. Yeah, I need some. I can make it on that box. Nope. Every day it's always time for a new play. Yep. Get the filter on. Set the furnace in the box. There's our plug that we're gonna hook onto, hook into. filter with foam tape Um, can you get the pipe off the top of my truck? Is it zip just this side on? Yeah, it's got a few pieces of tape okay. on it too.
might need that. Oh wait, that's my stuff. Mm -hmm. Alright, we got the filter on. <laughs> still, still time. Hey Ben. Yeah. Flat. Alright, we got the furnace set. Um we're gonna have a piece of duct that comes off here and then just a grill on this side. And we might just put a star collar just on this side. It won't come out far enough to mess with us. Alright, we're sending a spotter bit out to find out where we're going to run our gas to. I don't think this is long enough, dude. Oh, right. <clears throat> I guess it's about the same size as the Not one I was really. using. Never. Never. Can you see it, Ben? I don't know how thick it is. You can? I can see it. Alright. Well, let's go see where it's at. Alright, so that's our gas coming from the meter, which is way down there. Here's our spotter bit. gas over to there. I bought some unit strut and some straps to mount it every so often to hold it. Let's see how this goes. Okay. Gotta get the rest of it drilled out on the other side. All right, there's our hole. I'll put a piece of pipe through it, PVC through it, and cut it to the right length.
So you're just gonna cut that. Um, you're gonna strut in like six inch, inch sections. Someone just run it. All right, we got our pipe going through. We're on the pipe, the gas pipe through. We're cutting the unit strut now. And we'll uh, come off of this. And 90 over towards the wall and run it down through here with a few clamps. And then go up and do the same thing. I guess I'll just hope that those inch and a half mason, masonry screws will work. That's all I have that might work. Word on the gas line. And they're just aggravating me, so I'm gonna do the electrical. So what the boss one's done, if a switch put here with it ran into that plug, I don't see the point of the switch with a plug right there. It doesn't make any sense to me whatsoever. So whatever. That's where he wants, that's what I'll do. So I got the box on there. Just put a couple of screws in it. So that's when they're starting now. I need a, a switch and a box connector. And I got a little rubber. I'll put right through here so these wires aren't on the bare metal. Right, so I'm gonna get my wires to my switch hooked up first. So just, just a switch, you just need your two hot wires or ground and then your um, neutral wires. Just get wire nutted together. Both of my hot wires. Screw them on here. And both of my neutrals go together. Back there out of the way. And now we have our ground, which I'll probably just make a pigtail with this. Just need another wire. And we only gotta fit one of them on the ground side. So, for my ground, I'm just going to do this. That way I just have to take one wire. Back there. Take this wire. Strip it back a little bit farther, actually. Just 
take it, put it right there. off the top of here because we don't have a need for them. switch and then we have a cover for it right here. figure it out just worry about the part going up right now and just like that you have a useless strip switch because regardless it's getting plugged in so I'll go ahead and plug that in which I can't because this is the wrong type of plug and now I get to start all over All right, so now I have the right style plug. So we can take it over here and plug it in. So you got a completely pointless switch here because it's just plugging in right there, which is less than two feet away. But it is what it is. So we got all that wired up. Now we're gonna get the thermostat mounted down here and a wire ran for it. Alright, so this is what I got set up for the thermostat. That way the wire doesn't get trampled on. Got my fish tape ran through, pull the wire through. Alright, so here's my thermostat wire. I got it ran in a half inch liquid tape strapped down. That way we don't have to worry about it getting stepped on or tore up. It runs all the way up the side of the cabinet in it and then Got the gas pipe stuck in here now. So we're, we're getting somewhere. We'll wire up the 
low voltage and put the thermostat on. All right, so we got W, which is our white. That's our heat wire. We'll put that in. We got red, which goes to R for our 24 volts. We got green, which is our fan. That goes to G. And then we got blue, which is our common, and that goes to C. So that's our 24 volts. It's done right there. We just gotta get the thermostat. So what I did was I drilled out a hole here in here and hooked it to the tabs on this box so that way it's on there nice and sturdy thought i should mention something i learned about these uh thermostats on the last install i did is if you're doing just heat and you want to be able to control just the fan you have to leave this rhrc jumper in if you take the jumper out it will not let you turn just the fan on so you have to leave the jumper in to do that. Okay, so they got the gas hooked up here and ran up the wall I'm going through. But we just found out that there's not even any gas. The gas hasn't turned on yet. So. Yet again, another job that there's no gas turned on, therefore I can't uh, check it. Before I leave, kind of need the gas turned on to be able to check the furnace out. All right, we got one of the takeoffs in for the duck. It's just going to shoot out this way. And we got a takeoff. We're going to probably put in right here, but it's not going to go anywhere with duck because it won't go be able to work over it. All right, I got my one piece of duct ran this way. Duck is still working on the Cut gas the, line. Uh, Three hours later. Wire brush. Really, we just have the drain and the exhaust left to do. Exhaust? Let's put that right in the return, son. <laughs> Perfect spot for it, isn't it? That is correct. Probably should just keep, well, we'll keep this open for now. All right, we're getting ready to run the exhaust. The gas line's done. The drain, we still have to figure out what to do with it. But everything else is done. We've got to put a take off right here and that duck's just running right there this is just for heat got a little ahead of myself there's a stud right there so I to move my hole over just a little bit probably should have done a little bit more checking luckily it's way up here and you can't tell
time for some new holes. <laughs> He does, but I doubt that they're better than that one. How do I stop this recording? The top button. All right, we got the got the exhaust drain. Now we just have the drain and the takeoff for right here, and we should be pretty well set. The drain's gonna be a little tricky. It's not going to work like my dad told us it would, so. We're trying to figure that out right now. Okay, so we're gonna have to run a pump for the condensate, but everything else is done. And the exhaust is done, the gas is done. We got our duck running this way. We got a takeoff here, it's just gonna shoot out this way. And then we got our low voltage. A thermostat. So that's where we're at right now. Just about just about got it done. So we're done. We just gotta run the vinyl to and for the pump, but we got a piece of duck running this way. A piece of duck running that way. I left it so that I could get off easy if I needed to. We got our drain. A pump, gas line, and venting on the other side. And then we got filter, sticker. So that's where we're at. I gotta get ready to go. I gotta get ready to go. two service calls to run. And we got our gas line out here. It's done, but not turned on yet. There's our gas line, our exhaust up there. 